What's going- Oh, wait. What's going on, everybody? It's your lo- Ah, uh, stop. It's your boy. It's your barrel boy. Friend the barrel. Hope you're having a good day, because I am. Let's continue with where we left off last time. So, with... Well, Shockman. Yes, with Shockman. Defeated, but not destroyed. Just, he left, I think. I don't think he actually exploded, but... No, wait, did he, he did explode. How is he back? What? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we're gonna be taking on Cryptman today, because he's the easiest. He's the one I always deal with first. Yeah, here he comes. Yeah, your boy. Cryptman. Alright, anyway. It appears to be gamer time. This stage is pretty easy, too. Although there is one part that's hard. These hands aren't difficult, in my opinion. You just let them come, and then... The one part that is difficult is this part with a bunch of vultures. These guys are annoying, too. You have to, like, kind of jump, but not all the way, and kill them. If I had Photon fla Flare or Bomb Man, I'd be able to get that E-Tank there. You see it? You can also use Tango to deal with them. One of the advan Meg Mega Man can copy we weapons from other robot masters. That's one of his main advantages, but he can also uh, summon his good buddies. Tango's my favorite. Look him go. Also, he's a cat. But there's also Rush, who will boost you up to higher. Ow! Now you decide to do it. There's also Rush, who will boost you up to higher places. And Eddie, who will give you health, or weapon energy, or E-Tanks, just all kinds of- all sorts of stuff. Accept what you need. He'll give you everything except what you need in that one certain moment. Or at least that's my experience with him. Oh yeah, but I was gonna show you guys how you can get rid of these screw guys with Tango. Let me find a good place. This is not a good place to test. Oh, here's a good place. So if you don't feel like jumping out because you're afraid you're going to get hit or something, then just... And... Easy. But I don't know why you would do that when you can just jump out. It's not too hard to do. I would say that this is going to be a deathless run in this game because I've played it so many times. But it's like, we all know it's not going to be deathless. I'm going to die. I'm not good at video games. Except when I am good at video games because I'm the best at video games. You guys don't know that. Man, I just have some very conflicting emotions. Like, sometimes I'm like, I'm the best gamer of all time. I've never lost. Ever. Y'all know that. I never lose. <sighs> Can you call that commentator's curse? Can that be considered commentator's curse? But anyway, I'm just some dude playing video games for 27 people to watch him. <sighs> yeah, this is the vulture part I was talking about. If you see trees in the background and the vultures are around, and they do not cut you any slack. They drop the bombs directly onto your head. They do not care. And you can't just keep moving because there's these minor guys that are, I'm pretty sure, are too tall to jump over. And even if you could jump over them, they can throw rocks. Let's see if you can jump over. I think I might have just jumped over one. If I died here, it'd be really embarrassing. Good thing I didn't. I bet you guys thought I was going to die there. I bet that would have been really funny. Maybe I should have died on purpose. I think there's a little mini boss here, but let's deal with this bat first. Yep, there you are. He's. I was gonna say he's easy, but then he just hit me, so I mean, obviously. I 
I just realized that the bombs that those things drop are the same bombs that the vultures drop, and they kind of look like, like, pipes leading to the surface. So I wonder if the vultures are just, like, dropping... I'm a failure. Whatever, we just got a checkpoint. And we're still doing alright on lives. Yeah, okay, so this is definitely not gonna be a deathless run. How about a game overless run? Yeah, no game overs. Game overs are for stinky doo who aren't good at video games. Unlike moi, who is the best at video games. You cannot be stopped or defeated or killed in any way. I have a friend. He's kind of a jerk. You know how you have that one friend who's kind of a jerk, but he's like still your friend? You know? He's not like... Did I seriously just do that? He's not like an abusive friend or anything. But he's just like... Kind of a jerk and kind of gets on your nerves. Yeah, we all have that friend. Anyway, so my friend... Every time... Everything that I like, he says no one likes. I like JoJo. He says... Oh yeah, that one anime no one likes, JoJo's for our adventure, and I, I'm like, bruh, and then he says no one likes Mega Man, even though I love Mega Man, he also says no one likes, uh, One Piece, even though that's, like, my favorite anime. I'm pretty sure he's just dedicated to saying no one likes things that I like. He also dislikes all my videos. You might have seen, and he sometimes comments, you might have seen comments from Xander Melon in some of my videos. Yeah, that's him. He's a stinky doo-doo head. With no feelings. Or a heart. Or a soul. But, you know, whatever. He's still my friend. He's still fun to hang out with, somehow. Dustin calls me every, like, five seconds. I wonder if he'll call me while I'm recording. That would not surprise me. Oh yeah, now we gotta fight. Angry dog again. It's even more thrilling than the first time we fought him. I know I said there's gonna be a game overless run, but there's a huge possibility that I game over here. Because we're at the second vulture section, which in my opinion is harder than the first vulture section. I mean, as it should, the level should get harder as you go through it. But yeah, you have to deal with these screw guys now and vultures. So it's just a real fun time all around. Oh wow, I'm about to die. Well, it's not a game over this run. I overestimate myself. I actually overestimate myself. Like, I'm like, dude, I'm so good at this game. This is easy. Although, to be fair, I did get pretty far, and I haven't played this game in, like, a month. But, uh... Even more than a month, like, two months. Like, a while, actually. I haven't played this game in a while. But, um... Anyway, I'm always so confident. I'm like, oh, yeah, let's get it. And then I died the same part, like, three times, and suddenly I'm at zero lives. And I'm like, oh, well, let's not. Let's get it. You guys want to know what my favorite Pokemon is? Marowak. I'm probably gonna fast forward through this section. Just like y'all can get to the good stuff. Getting kind of boring just watching them do the same part all over again. You see the stride on those guys when they walk towards you? Those like explorer grave robber guys? You see them just stride towards you? Look at the power. Look at this. Look at that. He looks like a JoJo character. Jojo, pose, pose. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna ignore those guys. Jojo, pose. Jojo, pose. Jojo, pose. Jojo, pose. Jojo, pose. Hey, editing me, play a little snippet of that song real quick. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. Jojo. Pose, pose, pose. Play a little, play a little bit of that joke, that joke. Ow! I thought I was gonna die One thing I really love about Rock Force is how like sliding feels. Like slide jumping. You can get like a bunch of Ow, ow, get off me, get off me. 
Oh crap. We are in the deep doo doo. When it's magic, I'm dead. Uh, but whoever kills me, I'm not gonna do you. You're like the easiest thing ever. Oh wow, I. That was embarrassing. You like drop and you stand still for like 13 seconds. Just letting me just wail on you. Alright. Here's where we can die. Here's where things get a little testy. I think there's a checkpoint here? No, 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 there's not. Pretty sure there's a checkpoint soon. We can just make it to that. You know who I wish would play Mega Man? Alpha Rad. I love watching all of his videos, so, you know, play Mega Man. That'd just be a dream come true. I wish more big video game YouTubers made, or Let's Players or whatever, made uh, Mega Man videos. Honestly, I think Mega Man's one of the most fun games to watch. My opinion. Because everyone plays it so differently, like some people use weapons, some people buster only. Some people do whatever else you can do. I mean, some people take on one Robot Master first, some people take Oops. You guys want to know what the first Robot Master I tried to fight was? Photon Man. And... Oh wait, this was a checkpoint. Okay, I was right. Photon Man is, in my opinion, one of the hardest bosses. To do Buster only. Because he just jumps around and punches a lot. But, you know, that's just my opinion. I guess he isn't that hard. I just get flustered. Once you learn his pattern, he's easy. But, I mean, that's true for most bosses. Once you learn any boss's pattern, it's easy. But the fact that he can punch you? Most Robot Masters can't really do that. I don't really have a close range option. Besides contact damage. So the fact that he can punch you is what makes him hard. I'm pretty sure those you can actually hit those vultures with the right weapon. I don't know what weapon you want to use. Um, okay. What weapon would be good against the vultures? I mean, I'd have to. Re oh wait, the photon flare could, flare could probably hit them. <laughs> Guys, did you know that that section of the spikes? I jumped there once and died like right before the boss. Anyway, Cryptman's a really nice guy, so he'll just like he'll literally just throw you an L tank. Like, watch this. What a gentleman. He wants a fair fight. All right, now let's kill him. He's not hard. He thinks he's hot stuff, but he's not. That's his only kind of difficult to dodge attack, in my opinion. Plus, I have plenty of lives to relearn his pattern. I guess that attack's kind of difficult. Yeah, that's my least favorite attack by far. Also, he does a fair amount of damage. Those are the things that make him hard. But once I remember his pattern, he's kind of already dead. Once I remember it. Also, I'm way too confident. Like, I suck at Mega Man bosses. But, nah, he's not so bad. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot I don't teleport out yet. I gotta rescue my friend. Sup, Nightman? This is another playable character that I just unlocked. And I also get a new weapon. Get equipped with... Bloop. Crypt Cloak. <laughs> Bloop. Let's not save over my other progress. That would not be fun. I did that once. And, yep, he's defeated, and now if we go to team, look at that, we can choose to play as Nightman now. Also, you may have noticed, Charade Man, every time you leave and come back, he changes his pose. Now he's Michael Jackson. That's just his default one, that one right there. 
And then he has another where he peeks through. Yeah, there's there's the one charade woman. He can change to charade woman, he can wear a fedora, he can like climb out of the box and he can be smiling. I think he can also be upside down, but we haven't seen that one yet. Anyway, like and subscribe if you want to be notified about when my next Mega Man video comes out. I also do uh, Rivals of Ether content, Sonic content. I really will just record anything I can on my computer because I don't have a capture card, so I can only record things on my computer right now. But, you know, I'll buy one at some point. Uh, like and subscribe. Sayonara. Goodbye. Have a good day.